What's up guys? Welcome to MLG's Gears of War 3 launch party from New York City. I'm Chris Puckett, joined by Prospect. Prospect, you are one of the eight local pros in the area competing tonight. How pumped are you for this Gears of 3 launch? Well, I'm pretty pumped. Uh, can't wait for the game to come out, you know, see everybody with the game and, uh, you know, start playing competitive, see how everybody is. You know, that's, that's one of the best feelings when everybody has the game and you know everybody's putting in the time. You know, everybody's like trying to get down their stuff. Everybody's trying to get their teams together. It's, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's, I'm pretty pumped. Absolutely. Now we have the best players in the tri-state area competing tonight and you'll get a chance to watch them all. We'll be playing all the new game types, King of the Hill, Team Deathmatch, all of the new maps. You guys will get a chance to see that. And of course, at midnight, after you go pick up your own copy, you'll be able to join online and possibly match up against these guys who'll be searching the matchmaking. But what are you most excited for tonight? What game type can you not wait to play? Uh, definitely execution on uh, checkout. Uh, we dominated the beta there. You know, we went 100 and 0, and that was our go-to map. Um, other maps too, I like Old Town. The beta maps were great. They, they did an addition to uh, trenches. Mm -hmm. uh, they increased the map. They made it more strategic. Uh, that map looks like tons of fun to play on every game type, not just execution, team deathmatch, maybe even King of the Hill, you know, who knows. But um, besides those maps, I'm, I'm uh, anticipating the other maps, see how they play out and see how, uh, if they could be using competitive gaming. Well, everyone is getting ready right now, getting their Xboxes plugged in, signing on to their profiles. But talk to me, who are you playing with tonight? And is it your full lineup that you plan to play with at the MLG tournaments? No, it's not. Um, this is Caesar's team right here. Uh, Latino Heat. Latino Heat. One, one of my team members, uh, High Distortion, is going to be playing with me. Uh, definitely some team chemistry there. We'll be playing with CD in the third, and uh, Camille is one of my uh, old teammates. Uh, we're playing against Team Carbon over here. Uh, I got Jay from my team on that team, too, so definitely looking to put uh, you know, some, some noise on that team. Yes, yeah, so you're playing up against Jay Merckx tonight. Uh, any, any predictions going into the matches? Oh, one of the expectations is win every map for us. You know, like just because he's on our team and we know he's good doesn't doesn't stop us from doing what we're going to do. We know uh, how he plays and, and we'll, we'll stop him. And who is going to be the powerhouse for Latino Heat? Powerhouse for Latino Heat, I'm going to have to go with High Distortion. Um, HD. Yeah, there's a lot of rifle. There's a lot of rifle work in this game. People, you know, the game's just brand new. So there's going to be not too much shotgunning. You know, there will be shotgunning. There will be, you know, but people are not going to be in mid-season form, what we would call. So you see a lot of lancering or, or whatever rifles are used and he's always pinpoint accurate with those rifles. Now on the other side, we actually have a Halo Pro. Ghost Ayami is coming back for Gears 3 and he's playing with Carbon tonight. What can you tell me about this lineup you're facing off against? Um, uh, I'm not too sure if they're hiding a BR on the map on any of these maps, but um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, these are Gears weapons. So we're gonna show them how, we're gonna show them the ways. We're gonna let them know that, uh, you know, we're, we're the Gears War players for a reason and see if he can make the adjustment. All right, now you got Kareem. Kareem's been a huge name on the MLG Pro circuit yeah. since day one. Is he going to be the team captain, or who is really going to be the star for Carbon this evening? In your I opinion, see, I see Cream doing some uh, putting up numbers statistically. Um, Jay, I got to go with Jay for my team. You know, just really versatile. I, I know what he can do. I know that he makes things happen out of nothing. You know, like he'll be back against the rope, and then all of a sudden, two kills, three kills. You know, so definitely he could use a uh, power weapon play. I'm not too sure of their strategies but I'm pretty sure that he'll be, he'll be putting up uh, some of the numbers. Well, very cool. It looks like our players are gearing up, getting all of their profiles set. But before we go, I'm going to step into the other room to do some commentating. That's right. You'll have live commentary throughout the evening. But tell me, do you have anyone you want to give shout outs to? Gears 3 is finally here. Gears 3 is finally here. The community has been behind you guys this whole time. What can you say to the Gears community right now? Uh, Gears community, this is going to be great. This is going to be a big thing for all of us. Uh, it's going to be exciting. I'm just gonna have to shout out to my team. Um, shout out to my family, my friends, uh, Crew NS, Prison, all the people that I, you know, I'd love to be with uh, now playing the game. But shout out to you guys, Evade, all you guys. All right, and Prospect, what weapon of choice are you gonna be using tonight? Sniper. Sniper, Sniper all day, baby. Trying to regain the throne. All right, guys, we'll check out some of this Gears action. Or let me go to a commercial, but when we come back, we will have game number one. We'll be Xbox Live, we'll be land. You're about to find out. We'll see you in a minute. All right, we are back. It looks like Carbon is still searching online, trying to match up against some of the people who were lucky enough to get the game early. And I heard that one of you guys actually got a chance to pick up the game just yesterday at a mom and pop store. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got the game early, a few of us. Um, not too many people online, so it's a lot of playing against bots and stuff. But for the most part, you get to play against a few people and you get to like see the movement of the game, the speed of the character. You get to check out some of the maps. It's pretty cool. Awesome. And uh, what was your favorite map that you've played so far outside of the beta maps? 
Outside of the beta maps, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, Hotel. Hotel? Why yeah, is that? Hotel, just because it gives me a little mansion feeling, little Gears 1, kind of at home comfort zone. Uh, definitely like that map. It's got the power weapon up top, boom down low. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's symmetrical. Seems good for competitive play. How's it play out? Is it like matching, which was amazing for execution, or, or not so much? It's, it's different uh, in the sense of um, like the actual space on the map. So like as Mansion was like really confined, this map is similar that you have to rush outside and get the power weapon and meet up halfway. Both teams have to meet up halfway or else someone's at a disadvantage. But um, it's, 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 it's a little bit different because the, the space of the map, like the front door itself is huge. Like you fit a few characters in there. So there's a lot of fighting in different areas as opposed to just the old school Gears 1 where you're just fighting on boom. Okay, and uh, I gotta ask you about the weapons. Sawed off added everyone in the beta saying it's the newbiest weapon they've ever seen. But if you don't hit that shot, you're basically gonna die. What do you think about the weapon and does anyone on your team even play with it or are you guys all Nashers? I haven't seen anybody on my team use a Nasher thus far. About uh, beta, playing, getting it early. Um, it's just straight Nasher work. You know, like you're not gonna put all your eggs in one basket and try to hit that one shot. You're not you're probably not even gonna get that close to a character in competitive play. Right. You know, playing against good players with like I said, pinpoint accuracy and these guys are not going to let you get that close to, to get that uh, shot off. Let's talk about game types now. Um, at the MLG Raleigh event, we got a chance to see uh, Team Deathmatch and King of the Hill for the first time. Out of those two game types, which do you prefer? And, and do you think that execution will be passed up with Team Deathmatch? Um, I like Team Deathmatch more, more than King of the Hill. Uh, Team Deathmatch, you still have like a, you know, your strategic uh, beginning of the round and you get to keep putting on that pressure. Mm -hmm. I like that you could do that. I like when even when your back's against the rope that you have to, how you have to regain the territory. Not just the hill, map control is what I'm talking about. Yeah. And you know, usually it's like center of the maps. Uh, I, love, I love Team Deathmatch in that sense. Um, I think execution will always be execution though. Execution is still the I best? Think, yeah, because like, like Caesar has said before, season the third, it's kind of like, Gears of War is kind of like the football of video games, where when you have execution, it's round by round strategy, just like in football, it's down by down. You know, and those are, those are exact words from CDN. And every, I think everybody who plays Gears loves that, that concept that you get to hit them with one strategy at a time. You guys meet up and you, know, you get to test out what works, what doesn't work. All right, well, it looks like we're still having issues. One Xbox will not join the land still. So I think if we can, might as well set up a little 2v2 action. Oh, if you had great. a 2v2 partner in this room right now, who would it be? High Distortion. High Distortion? High Distortion, You yes. and HD? Yeah. Who would be the second best team? Uh, second best team to put together with me? Yeah. J-Mercs. Uh, what about the best competition that you and HD could play against? Oh, there's no competition here. No competition, no competition here. here. No competition here, no. All right. And it looks like just got word from the producer. Big shout out to Luke staying late with us tonight. We're going to host up a 2v2. Ghost Yami a Halo Pro going up against the Gears Pros. It's carbon v carbon action. Take it, Lennox.
Sorry, we got two people right by the boom, and I guess. Oh, uh, oh man. I was about to go in with it, too, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Setting up the headshots, easy down. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to just fill time man. for us when we get this real thing. Yeah. Team Latino Heat taking down Harvard tonight. Now. <laughs> I know you've known all these guys that have been here in family for a while. Out of the eight guys who showed up tonight to play, who are you most cool? looking forward to watching. Well, um, I can tell you that CDN is the one player I'm most excited to watch, simply because he not only has the best smack talk in the game, but, you know, he just has a lot to prove, you know, during the uh, his off time, you should say. So I'm, I'm excited to see what CDN brings to the table. And also Cream being one of the more notable players in Gears of War. Uh, but let's not forget guys like Prospect and J-Merc that they're just overall amazing talents. But to me, the number one player I'm looking for is Gosiami. Gosiami, I want to see what he can do. You know, if it's just a fad, if it's a phase he's going through, or if this is the real deal, and we are going to see Gosiami doing work on the pro circuit. You know, Ghost just finished that last kill off with a nice Naster shot, but look at Cream's score. What is he doing so far? Uh, Cream is a beast. I'm just going to put it like that. Cream, uh, he could do whatever he wants and it seems to work. I, I just don't understand it. I've, I've played with him and he's just an amazing player. Just simply put. I, I, we were actually running some public matches and he was getting 20 kills and I have five. I'm like, what am I What am I doing wrong? I mean, I get it's not Call of Duty, but still, you know, come on. Cream came <laughs> to the office earlier. We played a King of the Hill game. I am in with... 19 kills and about 26 down. Cream had 56 kills. That's just how he rolls. I don't know, I don't know what he does with the shotgun, but his shot is just magical. And One it, shots everything. And if you tell him the shotgun's broken, he will get mad again. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's just how he is. Wow, so j Merck takes down uh, Ghost Yami and Cream, it looks like. Yeah, finishing strong that round, and it looks like uh, they're still down six kills, or six score, though, to Cream and Ghost. So I'm expecting Yuli to step up his game. He's been kind of silent so far in the second half of this series. Yuli is a player that has a lot to prove. Uh, you know, he is a good player. Everyone knows that. Um, but, you know, people want to see what he does in a uh, pressure-filled setting like this. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see how he plays out. But we see some action going on. Oh, no way. We see Yuli gets taken out by Cream. And j Merks is out. He just rolled past both people. He's going to be by the docks. He sees two people moving down to the docks. He tries putting some shots. Fortunately, he's no. got a two-on-one and gets taken out. There's nothing you can do. 
No, and, you could do. And Shibby would call that a splash. A splash. <laughs> Just splash. <laughs> yeah, they, that was uh, gruesome. That was gruesome. But uh, I guess, uh, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Yeah, and here we go. It looks like we got Kareem and Ghost just one round away from winning this first 2v2 battle here. This is a monumental occasion here. Yeah, and, and this is Gridlock. For those of you guys who are worried that Gridlock might not be back in here, we're telling you right now, here's the three features Gridlock. All the pros are super pumped about this. It's the best looking remake I have ever seen in a video game. I've been saying that to everyone that I run across. I'm like, this Gridlock's the best looking remake ever. If you just look at the map, it looks absolutely amazing. So. Definitely, and I'm so excited about this particular map too, just because it's gridlock. This is like the bread and butter of Gears of War. This, this is, is the midship. Yeah, exactly. this is the midship of Gears of War. You know, so I'm I'm really pumped for this map, and just it looks so beautiful. And uh, what do we have right now? Both players are up for J Mercs and Yuli. We've got a lot of hiding going on, except for J Mercs. He seems to be the only one really moving around the map. There, it looks like his teammate just splashed. Oh. We have a little 1v1 action going on the shotgun, and Jamers gets taken out. So Cream is going to finish it 22 to 10. I was a, I was a Molly Wap in my neighborhood. Molly Wap? I guess so. I like that. I've never heard that before. You could use it now. I'm a Molly Wap all the time, man. Let's this do is, it. That's incredible. <laughs> J Merck's almost a level 2 after that one. <laughs> it has begun. Who's on camera? And it looks like uh, these guys probably going to get set up for another one. Let's go ahead and take preview there, Lennox. I want to show the world what we got going on here. That is CDM 111. Let's go, CDM. Pleasant. He is ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> HD, high distortion. For those of you guys who haven't seen him in the last three years, he's uh, gained about 300 pounds of muscle and two <laughs> feet of height. And there on the other side, there you're taking a look at the Carbon Squad. CDN talking a little trash as these guys are trying to get our system link set up, it looks like. So let me ask you a question, Pocket. How do you feel about seeing Halo colors in a Gears of War atmosphere? I'm proud of them, man. Proud? Finally making the blue and red move. You know, that I'm excited for Ghost, you know, he's a super old school pro and I, I want to yeah. see if he can make a transition. A lot of, like you said, he's a pro player. Yeah, they should be all right. You know, I've, I've played with a lot of pro players in various different games, and, you know, they all excel. It's the core is the same, you know, I've played with players in completely different games and everything else. Hey, Merck's just Shotgun is not my uh, not my forte. Like, I don't know about you. It's all good. My, my shotty. Mm, let's not even talk about it. For those of you guys who watched my gameplay on MLG.TV, let me take this time to apologize for wasting all of your time. I got beaten by bots. It looked like you were shooting cotton candy from that shotgun. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the nicest shotty anyone could ever own. Damage free is the way to be. <laughs> all right, we got uh, you eat rolling up, and it looks like. Oh, we got guys. Cream getting taken down once again. You eating J Mark starting off strong here, six Owen. Yeah, but uh, you know you can never count Cream out. Uh, this is one of the newer maps in the game, um, Hotel. It's uh, it's actually a really good map. I had the opportunity to play it uh, this weekend, and I really do enjoy the the uh, pressure point right in the middle, uh, where they would have I forgot what weapon was spawned. I believe it's the digger, um, but it seems here they're going to be going straight for the hotel itself. And we see some smoke grenades being thrown out by, I believe that's Ulit. Yeah, we see some smoke grenades being thrown out by Ulit. And they're just sticking together right now. They're not going to be moving around too much, trying to make a big push because it's not the smart thing to do. But we see Ulit is now going to be trying to go for the flank. J Mercs is by himself over there, and Ulit's going to be coming behind them. And they're still in the hotel. They're just pinned in over there. They're, they're not going to move. They're just hanging out. Yeah. yeah. Camping the grenade a little bit. Yeah, that's the smart thing to do though. You know, you have the inside advantage. They ultimately like they have to go into you, so let's see what happens. Oh boy, why haven't I brought you in the booth in the past? Well, well, you know, I mean, I'm there, bro. And, and you're local, right? I'm a local guy. So the more lands we do from the LG office, the more commentating. Hey, I'm down right? for anything. I like I'm always that. Down for I'm it. so glad yeah. you showed up with your boy Z Ghost. Support the cause. And got to give a big shout out to Joshua Crazer. For setting it up. Yeah, setting it up. He's my intern nowadays, helping us get all of this stuff hooked up this morning. Yeah. Six and to three. We had a little rally back there from Ghost and Cream. Yeah, and that's what you would expect from guys like them, especially Cream. He'll he'll definitely come back and catch you with your pants down, so that's not what you want. 
And uh, we're still following Yulit, who's going to be making that push to the hotel entrance staircase. And he sees no one running up the stairs on the opposite side. He's going to try and go for those nades. No, Shit, nice. he's just moving right they're in. It looks like right they in. want to play aggressive, you oh, see. There's some shock in action. And, and Ghost is going to go down charging in. It's one-on-one -on -one Cream versus Yuli. And Cream with the clutch. That was not so pretty of a battle, but hey, they made it work. Yeah, it was some muzzle action. And Cream clutches it. Two kills like nothing. And just like that, Pugget, 6-6. Six, six. I like it. What's the scoring here? Uh, basically, you get a point for every kill. Point for every kill? Yeah, so it's first to 20, point for every kill. Um, if I believe you're in scoring range or something like that, you uh, have like a sudden death round or something of another, but... I like that. Yeah, it's it's Wingman, it's a fun game type. One of one of my favorites, I love hopping in Wingman uh, in Gears 2 with a few friends. Uh, you know, me and my buddy work and we play that a lot because, I mean, that's really all we can do. <laughs> yeah, and, and I have to... Uh... I have to admit here to everyone watching on the streams, I am not a Gears pro. I barely played Gears, except no for way. Gears 1 for a little bit. But after seeing these pros playing all day, warming up here in the offices, I know what I'm playing for the next two months, minimum. That's what I like to hear, man. Yeah, absolutely. And what's your favorite gun? Uh, well, I would have to actually go with the Lancer because my Nasher just absolutely sucks. Uh, yeah, well, no, I, listen, I have the best Lancer in the game. That's just a fact, oh, okay. you know, you're going to see it coming in the next well, season. Rage assistant. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. I, I may not be able to shotgun you, but I could definitely Lancer the hell out of you. And uh, we have Cream, no, never mind, this is, uh, yeah, Cream yeah. 2v2, and, I mean, excuse me, 2v1. Yeah, Cream just beasted again. You got to love the addition there. When you jump over things, you stun the I love opponent. That. Makes the game smooth. So much better. <laughs> Best inclusion that they did because you have people the ramp, that we really like to just time. hide around corners and or just hide on ledges. And, you know, that and the inclusion of a weapon like the digger, oh, which yeah. is meant to push you like that. It's just perfect. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, Meadowlands. Exactly. I remember that one. <laughs> but hey, oh no way. You Coming up big that round, all tied up. 99, the Carbon team, very close right so far. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Cream is definitely doing work. Uh, we see in the scores right now, Cream has a substantial on, score point uh, overhead over uh, Ghost Yami. But that's not to say Ghost is struggling because Ghost is definitely helping out Cream. Uh, and we are still following on board with Cream. And Cream is in a 1v1 shock and fight, but he gets taken out by Yuli. Ooh, you was, eat getting revenge. Yeah, you lead has a you know he has something to prove here. But it, Ghost is staying still. Ghost is just stalling out a little bit, checking his Astros, I believe. This is a tactical maneuver. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> this is tactical. Thank you, man. I'm not over here with a shotgun. Oh, <laughs> oh still catches you lead. Oh man, he didn't expect that. Queen up by a grenade. J Works is gonna execute. Yeah, and I like that when you get stuck with a smoke grenade now, it automatically downs you. So it's actually a pretty good inclusion. They add a lot of things in this game that I feel uh, are going to benefit not only competitive players, but just people who have been playing this game for so long. And they want to learn the game, learn a brand new game. So I'm definitely excited to see how all these new additions pan out. Like I said, things like the digger and, you know, vaulting over and kicking someone is just so awesome. I, I love those inclusions. Uh, absolutely. Speeds up the gameplay and it's going to make it so much better for us to be broadcasting here in the future. Yep. Yep, and we see that Ghost Yami is down. Cream is going to try and avoid it. He does have someone down on the other team. That is That will be Yulit's sudden death situation. <laughs> it looks like he's meat shielding his way with that pistol. Cream just getting out of there. Yeah, that's what you'd want to do. You really don't want to challenge a meat shield. I mean, it's too many bullets you have to put in. If he smoke grenades him, though, the uh, meat shield will go down. So that's what he's going to hope to do right here. And Perfect I believe smoke. he didn't get it. No. He didn't get it. He... Slowly walked his way. <laughs> what happened Still caught there? Jaffer. So you get stuck on the desk? I, I, I gotta see that replay. Oh lord, he still caught him, but yeah, that's cream for you. He just pulls it out for some strange way. He always manages to go clutch. 13 13 so far, so it's all tied up. And once again, you are watching Cream off the start. He's definitely been the most action packed player to watch so far. Yep, and Constantly he does. Constantly in the battles. Here you see two of them charging. Cream put shots on both. Goes getting right next to him there on the couch. Yeah, that's definitely a smart move. Stay together, uh, strengthen numbers. Uh, you see that they're going to be trying to flank around here, uh, and they're going to try and split it up, but that's when Cream and uh, Ghost are going to catch them uh, unawares. But we do see a little fight going on right now, and it looks like Ghost is down. Cream is going to get picked up 
Oh wait, excuse me. Cream picks up Ghost and uh, Yuli takes out Cream, and that is mm. yeah, that that's is just, it for Cream. That's a bunch of fists to your face. That's no fun. Yeah, look at that. He's just getting pounded. That is just brutal. That's not right. He's kicking him too. What is wrong with him? <laughs> the longest that execution. Horrible. <laughs> you gotta love that addition. That is horrible. Now, one thing we haven't seen a whole lot of is the free cams after you die. Oh yeah. The ability to search through all the different cams. I can't wait to see. Who's the best pros when it comes to finding the best camera angles for us on the broadcast? You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely looking forward to that because the uh, I, I actually really do enjoy the free cam feature because you can uh, get a lot of good perspectives in the third person uh, or you can help out your teammates because all they're seeing is what's in front of them. And you can kind of catch what's behind the walls, all around. Uh, it's definitely a good feature. Oh, Cream gets taken out by Yulit with a shotgun and Yulit's going to try and avoid the fire from Ghost Yami. As Ghost is going to try and enter into this 1v1 with Yuli, he's kind of charging him blindly. He's a little red, but he's going to avoid the situation, run away, and there we go with the Ghost Cam. Cream now is going to be using his Ghost Cam. He's telling his teammate exactly where they are and what he needs to be doing. j is now going to be creeping up around the corner. Ghost Yami gets taken down easily, and that is the round. Yeah, he's going to get a quick boot to the butt and finish that one. i uh, got to give big props to Yuli for helping us get the stream set up. He's a big streamer there on Twitch TV. 25 years old from Clifton, New Jersey, and you know he's uh he's one of those guys you can just always count on to be there whenever you need to do something like play four before Gears Three in the office. Yeah, that's right. And I actually tune in to Yuli's stream all the time. Uh, I love watching it, and uh, I'm de I was definitely uh, excited to see uh, Yuli here because he's just such a good player and he's such a deserving. <laughs> oh, he catches him with the blind fire. Oh, j Merks must be salty after that. Yeah, he's not happy about being carried around right now. Breaks the neck. And shoddy battle, you lead finishing. Cream, I don't think so. Lex, can we switch around our players here? Who else we got to show off? You've been on Cream for a bit. Cream's feeling the pressure, man. That's right. <laughs> we got Yui going up against Ghost here. Blind fire action. Ghost almost going down there. What Yuli's doing right there is he's just getting some good pop shots. And it just got some news for my intern, Joshua Crazer. Josh, you want to lean over and tell the world what just happened? We got the 4v4 lane ready, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Big thing. Joshua Crazer, future MLG announcing talent right there, my friends. 4v4 is coming up next.